Hi, well, we're starting uh, to tie the bullet head foam hopper and this is also an extended body uh, fly, foam fly. And uh, what I'm using is a, it's called a JSON uh, extended body or what they call a detached body pin. Uh, you could also use a sewing needle, but uh, I, I kind of like these. Um, they work real fine and how to start 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 it up is with tying your thread right at the tip just like you would put your thread on a hook and put the tag in right at the spring now the string this piece here is as I wrap the uh, foam on there this is going to help when I pull it to help give a bend to the uh, foam. So what I did was I cut about an eighth of an inch thick yellow foam. I'm going to fold it in half over the the pin, hold it in place, and I'm going to put my first wrap right at the tip. Now I this will help with segmentation instead of like just crossing over and showing across. What I do is I push the thread in the middle and I'll start the second segment right there. Do the same thing, run it through the middle, hold it. I'm trying to do this as evenly as possible. So I'll have three nice segments right there that I'm going to uh, pull this off and attach on the hook. At this point, I will whip finish this here cut the thread take this off slide this right off and here's the extended body and then when I pull the inside thread it'll bend it Let's re, uh, put the hook in, in the uh, vise. This is a uh, 3x long uh, hook. And we will now secure our tying thread onto the hook. Okay. We will bring the thread to the bend of the hook. And the bend is right where the barb is. Uh, after you're done tying, you can pinch these down so that they would be uh, considered uh, barbless. So we'll put our thread at the bend area, bring it forward just a bit, because what's going to happen is we're going to take our... So now we're going to take the foam that we cut Tie it right at the bend on the first wrap, right at the bend. Put the thread inside, put another wrap in. So now we have the extended body and I'm going to add, as I said, we go to where the hook shank is, make the movement forward by the hook shank. And we'll have the body and the extended body and now we could either bind these down, which I'm going to do, or you can cut them. So, okay. Now I'm going to take a slip of treated um, turkey tail. I spray the turkey tail with uh, a Krylon, or you could just use uh, Flex Cement. I'm going to lay th that on top. Just cover it, and the underwing will be tied in. And then what we do is we just cut and there's our over our uh, underwing. I'm going to move my thread 
close to the eye, not right up against the eye, like an eye length behind. I'm going to take some stacked deer hair. This is going to form the head, it's stacked, and then it's going to form the overwing once we put the bullet through, uh, make a bullet head. So, what we want to do is make sure that when I tie this in and bend it back over, it will be the right length and the tips will extend over the over, uh, underwing. Not all, excessively, but just enough. So I line it up and I'll just tie, tie it in making sure that all the fibers go around the hook. I'm not spinning it. And now I'm working my thread back to the tie-in point of where I'm going to be tying in the head and the legs. Now to create the bullet head, you could either just use your hands and just grab all the fibers and go backwards and you'll tie up a pretty good bullet. They also have tools for this, and let me uh, pull out one of the tools. So, you could either pull it back, or a couple of companies make these, what is called a bullet head uh, tool. And what it does is, it just passes over, pull it back to right where your tying point is, so right behind the disc, all you have to do is just put a couple of wraps in and then pull this right off. And of course you're going to get short hairs, but you have a pretty decent uh, bullet head. What we can do next is uh, turn the fly upside down and to get a good body exposure, clip the, the hairs that are underneath so that the body is flush. All right, every once in a while you get a stubborn one. And bring it back. Pull them back a little bit. Put a couple more wraps in there. Any of these loose hairs you could just start trimming or pulling out. Okay. Now we'll put the legs in. Now we'll attach the rubber legs. I'm just using round rubber legs. I'll attach some to a one strand to the far side. And I'll attach another one to the near side. And then I'll trim these to length. I only want them the front ones I don't want as long as the back ones. Back ones I would like to at least come to there, to the end of the hook. Now I have the legs attached. And what I'll do next is whip finish this. Right where the legs are. Just reset the legs anytime. And we have our hopper. Bullet head hopper with an extended body.